Well, guess what? Inyo County is officially open for fishing today. As requested by county officials, California Department of Fish and Wildlife Director Charlton Bonham is lifting the delay of the trout opener in Inyo County. Beginning May 28th, trout season will be open in the county. And again, that's today, folks. The trout season was originally scheduled to open in Inyo County on April 25th. In April, the State Fish and Wildlife Department had discussions with county leadership regarding trout fishing, which typically draws a high tourism influx to the area. Local officials were concerned about the transmission of COVID-19 and its potential to put a strain on their health care system. Further, all non-essential businesses, including lodging, dining, and camping options, were closed in compliance with state and local public health officers' orders. Thus, California Department of Fish and Wildlife, in consultation with Fish and Game Commission President Eric Scalar, delayed the opener through May 31, 2020. However, in a letter yesterday, Inyo County officials requested that CDFW end the delay before May 31st, indicating that the county received approval from the California Department of Public Health to move into the governor's Phase 2, Stage 2, Resilience Roadmap, and would begin discussions of reopening. Though county officials requested the opening on May 27th, CDFW required one additional day for consultation and processing this request. Thus, the delay in Inyo County will expire at midnight on May 27th, and fishing can resume on May 28. This decision does not affect the trout season in any other county. CDFW reminds anglers to abide by all state and local health guidelines regarding non-essential travel and physical distancing. Staying home in order to stay healthy is still the best way to keep yourself and others safe. Anglers are also advised to check with local authorities on the status of access points as many site closures and access restrictions exist and may change daily. So happy fishing in Yo County! This is Charles James, and we'll be right back with more news. Well, you might recall yesterday's report from Deb Murphy that Mono County opened up their county campgrounds, and they're looking now at opening hotels and motels in a vote they're going to take on Friday. Not everybody's all that thrilled about it, so that might be an interesting meeting to watch. There is a lot of pressure to help the county's tourist economy. According to acting CEO Bob Lawton, they've asked the state public health director, Dr. Sonia Angel, to authorize this, but hasn't gotten an answer back yet. But the public seems pretty adamant. Supervisor Fred Stump says we need to open and bring order to all the chaos. Supervisors Jennifer Kretz and Peters agreed that they were willing to work out a plan to open lodging with the Emergency Operation Committee's input. So again, the board will meet this Friday, tomorrow, May 29th, to review that plan. Last Saturday, we had our Corona Cruising in Bishop event hosted by Bill Snyder through the Sierra Wave radio station. And it appears that many of you had a lot of fun listening to the radio. Play your request. It starts at 7 p.m. And a reminder, there's also a special graduation-themed event planned on June 5th to celebrate all the 2020 local graduates. Text Bill Snyder at 760-937-1349 or call 760-873-6339 or log on to sierrawave.net, or even email Bill at bsnyder at sierrawave.net and leave a comment with your request for him to play your favorite song. And if you want to spread the word about your business and be a sponsor of the live broadcast from 6.30 to 8 p.m. on Saturdays, contact Kat Greenman at 760-937-1349 and your business radio spot will be up and running. I want to give a shout-out to the Inyo County Amateur Photo Contest that's being hosted by the Lone Pine Chamber of Commerce. 
They get some really beautiful photographs out of these contests every year. And they have prizes. First prize, 300 bucks. Second prize, $100. Third prize, 50 This year, they're looking for action photos of people doing what people do in Inyo County when visiting us. The contest is open only to amateurs. You can turn in photos between April 15th and June 23rd, and you can submit up to three photos in a JPEG format to info at LonePineChamber.org. There is a $10 entry fee. Visit the LonePineChamber.org for more information on this really great photo contest. For more details or information on these stories and others, visit our website at sierrawave.net. We have the following report from Deb Murphy about Mono County opening their county campgrounds. With pressure to help the county's tourist economy, the Mono Board of Supervisors voted to open campgrounds and RV parks this Friday and consider a plan to open hotels and motels at a special meeting May 29th. While the county has no control over Forest Service campgrounds that remain closed, the supervisors can determine policy for its own and privately owned facilities. Mono set May 22nd, last Friday, as its official fishing season opener. This week, the task was to provide for a place for visiting fishermen to stay. According to acting CEO Bob Lawton, dispersed camping over the past weekend was less than the county had feared. We've asked the state public health director, Dr. Sonia Angel, to authorize this, Lawton said, but haven't gotten an answer yet. The public comments were adamant. Open campgrounds and RV parks. However, campgrounds and RV parks can be found nowhere in Governor Gavin Newsom's four stages of reopening. Supervisor John Peters urged the board to take action. We should have had camping by now, he said. We can't wait. We need a path forward. The assumption has been California's travel ban erased lodging as a consideration. However, logically, if recreation is cited in Stage 2 of California's Road to Recovery as permissible activity, and travel for permissible activity is okay, travel to fishing is also okay. See how that works? Supervisor Fred Stump noted Newsom's lack of specificity. We need to open, he said, to bring order to the chaos. The board agreed. Supervisors Jennifer Kreitz, Peters, and 14 members of the public calling in to comment turned their attention to getting hotels and motels open. The board needs a plan that includes lodging. We have to create certainty, Kreitz said. Kreitz's comment that a regional approach wasn't working referred to Alpine County's decision to open its fishing season May 15th. Inyo County voted today to open fishing May 27th. On campgrounds, Inyo CAO Clint Quilter suggested letting private campgrounds open first with the county's sites following in two weeks. Chair Stacy Corliss asked if Kreitz and Peters were willing to work out a plan to open lodging with the Emergency Operation Committee's input. We need a way to open lodging to accommodate the people who are coming. They both agreed. County Council Stacy Simon discouraged setting expectations we can't meet. The board will meet this Friday, May 29th, to review that plan. Thank you, Deb. This is Charles James, and we'll be right back with more news.